Hello, my name is Jim Swain. I'm an Applications Consultant with Synergist Technologies. I want to show you a tool that's been in AutoCAD for a while, but a lot of people aren't aware of it and can be incredibly useful. In this particular file, I've got a bunch of blocks that have attributes in them. If I go double click on them, you can see how the name of the actual room, the type of the flooring, the size of the room are all attributed information. I'd like to get that out and put it into a spreadsheet. Other examples where you might want to do this are things like a schedule of all the windows and the doors being used in this particular house. The way to do that is go to the insert tab and over on the towards the far right there's an extract data button or you could type data. Data extraction is the actual tool and up pops a wizard. I'm going to be telling it I'm using a brand new data extraction here. I'm not going to be basing it off any existing one. I'm not going to be editing an existing one. This would be if a, a block's name was changed or such. You may just tweak it to give it, pick up the new block. What I'm going to do instead is hit next. And I need to save this out with a name. I'm going to reuse an existing name. It's going to warn me. And what I'm going to do is pull information from the current drawing. I could also just pull information from specific objects. I'm not going to worry about that here. I could go and grab an entire folder of drawings if I wished. Or out of a folder, grab specific files. So I can go and get information from more than just this specific file. The settings also allow me to go and decide how I want to deal with XREFs. Are they going to be included in the count? Do I want to extract information from them? The answer is no, I'm not going to worry about it. Also, maybe I don't care about any attributed blocks that are over in paper space, such as title blocks. I'm only looking for these rooms. So it's now gone and pulled the information that's available in this drawing. And here's all the different things that are available. They're typically listed as blocks and non-blocks. You can right click in here and uncheck all of them, check them all, invert the selection. I'm not going to worry about that here because really I can filter it very easily to get rid of anything that's not a block. So you can see blocks only. And further, only show me the ones that actually have attributes. I can go a step further. I really don't care about those other three. These are the ones of interest. Now here's the type of information that's available. Right now it's sorted by name. But I generally like going and uh, sorting them by category. I'm not interested in a 3D information, 3D visualization, so I can clear that. I am interested in the attributes, but there might be specific attributes I don't care about. I could clear those. File information, things like file name and location and, uh, let's see, file creation date. Not worried about it here, but who knows, that might be useful. General, what layer are these blocks on? That could be very useful, but not here. What's the scale factor of those? The one I think has a better chance of being used is where are these blocks in XY space? Picture instead of doing a block, you're getting the XY coordinates of a series of points that have been added to a file or points on a specific layer. That's possible with this data extraction tool. But again, I really don't care for this. Same thing for the miscellaneous category. Now I've got narrowed down. I'll go to the next tab and I get to see a preview. Now notice there's all the names for the different rooms, types of flooring. But I've got these first two columns that aren't really doing anything for me. The first one is uh, the count. Well, none of these are identical, so the count will always be one. Or this could be useful as if I, again, was doing a window schedule or a door schedule. It would give me all the blocks that have an identical name, identical, I don't know, layer or whatever the other settings are. But they have to be identical, and I just won't have it here. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm not going to bother showing the count column. Now, I set this up on purpose. Sometimes you'll run into the same information, but in two different blocks, and people just didn't coordinate what they should be calling the attributes. I'll show you in another video how to rename an attribute 
and how to sync it. So take a look for that. In this case, I'll go ahead and clear that out. And now what I'd like to do is go and kick it out. Now I can either put it into the drawing as a table or I can send it out as an Excel file or something like that, or both. I'm only going to worry about the Excel file. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put it out to, I'll put it out to my desktop. Again, I'm going to get a beep because, yep, I've saved it with that name before. Next, it's ready to go. If I was putting a table in, when I would hit finish, it would ask me to spec out the table. What's the style for the table and so on. In this case, what's going on is if I fire up Excel, there's the information. And take note that the different numbers are actually saved off in text format. So I'd have to use an Excel tool to convert those to regular numbers if I was going to do any uh, math on them. But that's how I can go into a drawing or drawings and pull information out of those blocks. Information that was added when the block was inserted or was added at a later point can all be pulled out. So I hope you find this useful and keep an eye out for other videos, including how to rename these attributes in case you need to uh, organize things a little bit better. Thank you.